Midwest USA, Black Archives, Veronica's Voice, Ruby's Theme, Starlight Theater Center Stage, Women of Integrity, Urban Summit Young Professionals, Young Latino Professionals, I said you guys, you guys are so awesome to sing it twice. YMCA, YMCA of Greater Kansas City, Maddie Grove Center, Dreams KC, Restart, College Bound Scholars, Pause for Autism, Sheffield Place, Midwest Democracy Project, Happy Bottoms, Kansas City Metropolitan Dance Theater, Women's Political Caucus, DIFFA KC, and City of Motion. And again, thank you everyone for coming and please mingle and meet new boards and volunteers, so thank you. My name is Adriana Martinez and I, I am the co-chair of the Heartlands Women's Leadership Council. The Heartlands Women's Leadership Council is an organization that, it, that empowers coaches and is a catalyst for women of diversity here in Kansas City that serves the Kansas City market. We are excited about our opportunities that we offer by building board engagement, leadership. We have several organizations throughout the year from Living Legends to Martini Women in Shoes and our board matchmaking. Our board matchmaking is our, one of our funnest opportunities to do a lot of matchmaking for individuals who are looking to serve on boards, to have some civic engagement, and to be involved. Stephanie Smith, Executive Director of the Linwood Family YMCA. I'm just so excited to share with you um, that Linwood is really about the holistic wellness approach. So we touch people in spirit, mind, and body. A lot of times people think of the Y as a swimming gym. Well, we value that, but we're so much more. We give it an opportunity to really be able to touch people. And not just that individual, because we serve five generations, but anybody in that ecological perspective. So come out to Linwood Y and learn more about what we're doing in spirit, mind, and body. Thank you. representing women of imagery today at this event and we are an organization that focuses on personal growth and development for women in the community. We provide scholarships for young women that are graduating high school as well as adult women looking to further their education. We have a mentoring program that helps young women ages 18 to 21 set goals and reach those goals and we also provide free to low-cost workshops for women in the community. Okay.
name is Dina Irvin and I'm representing Black and College Bound Scholars. We are a college prep, career prep, uh, life skills program that works with young people of all ages to help them get ready for life after high school. So we do work with all demographics. We just specialize in those resources that help our young people of color um, connect with church scholarships, fraternities, sororities, HBCU tours, college tours of, of all, all schools, all geographic areas. My name is Camelia Cochran. I am with Black Family Technology Awareness Association. Our mission is to close the digital divide. We feel like our children are knowledgeable, but they don't have access. We teach them to build robots and program them, and we also teach them to work on teams. If you want your children to get a background in technology on a ground roots level, come and see Black Family Technology Awareness Association. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Doretha Williams. I am the Executive Director of the Black Archives in Mid-America. The Black Archives was founded in 1974 by Horace Peterson, who saw the need to collect the images and narratives of African Americans in Kansas City through archive collections. We recently reopened in June 2012. We are a humanities-based cultural research institution. We have great exhibits, a wonderful collection for those who want to do research, and we do public programming on Saturdays and throughout the week. Um, and we will love that you if you come down to the Black Archives, 10 to 4, Tuesday through Thursday. I'm from Kansas City Metropolitan Dance Theater, and we come from we come into existence out of the legendary Smith Sisters. The Smith Sisters were here for 50 years, and Kim Jones, who is our artistic director, started with them when she was five. So we work with kids from the inner cities and the metropolitan area to try to give them an opportunity to learn about dance and to express themselves through dance. We have all kinds of dance, ballet, modern, jazz, tap, and now we've started the African dance. So it's a wonderful experience for children, and we have Zumba for the adults. Alright, my name is Manny Abark and I'm representing the Young Latino Professionals Organization. Uh, we're an organization that focuses on networking, professional and leadership development, um, and we're welcoming of anyone at any point in time uh, to come and join our organization, whether that be for social or professional or leadership development. My name is Nadia Flum and uh, I am representing the Starlight Young Professionals Board. Um, we are here to promote Starlight Theater. We want young people to come out and see the great programs that we have coming up. We have a really great season lined up of concerts and shows and so um, come check out the website and uh, become a member.
My name is Chantel Garrett, and I'm representing Ruby's Inc. Ruby stands for realizing your best in every situation, and that's what we're looking to do in the lives of young girls. Our focus is to work with first-generation college students, female girls, um, to empower them, educate, and equip them with the life skills that they need to be uh, ready in college career community. So we're always looking for volunteers to engage with the girls or serve on committees or the board leadership. So if you're interested, please visit our website at www.rubiesinc.org. Thank you. I'm Crystal Frazier and I am representing Little Wolf Productions. Um, it's a non-for-profit organization that does films to especially help women and children. And our film right now that we're working on is called Hope Road. And you can watch the trailer of that at www.hoperoadthemovie.org. Um, what we are focusing on is bringing awareness and stopping the sex trafficking that's going on here in the United States. There's a lot of organizations that focus on what's going on all around the world, um, but we want to really focus on what's going on right here in our own backyards. Thank you. I just want to thank God for what he's done. 